Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live Saturday Night Edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Me and my main man, the Transformer. We're going to get it popping tonight. And we got some, uh, well, almost an exclusively NBA show tonight. But um, we will finish off with a Dallas Cowboys topic so we can uh, get, get some NFL love here because, hell, we're still right in the middle of uh, football season. So um, before we do all that, Transformer, what's good, man? How you doing, brother? I'm maintaining, man. Maintaining. How's your day? Oh, man, my day is filled with a whole lot of military stuff. It is our four-day drill weekend, so it's a long military day. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. That's so right. I came home, had enough time to, like, at least take my clothes off. You know what I mean? Oh. Put some new clothes on and then sit down. And before I knew it, oh, it's podcast time, baby. <laughs> why Why you can't say, man, I, I came home, I changed out my uniform. You all here talking about I came home, got to take my clothes off. Man, you think we want to hear that, man? You I said I came want? home. I didn't say come to your house and take my clothes off. I'm just saying, man, you could have worded that better, man. I, you know, we live it. We live in the pause life now. So you could have worded guess what? That. Hey, man, I'm in my <laughs> home, okay? <laughs> what more do you want from me, Bruce? All right, all right, all right. What do you want from me? <laughs> Stang, man, what's good? What's good, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> How you doing, uh, though, bro? You doing all right? Man, I'm, I'm, yeah, man, I'm maintaining, man. I, I think um, I think we got another good show lined up for the people, man. So uh, you, you know how we get down. You know how we get down. Um, probably want to give it a couple more minutes, see who else pops up in the chat. Uh, G, G's not going to be here with us tonight. He's uh, obviously as well um attending to his military duties so respect due to both of y'all for that my time is over <laughs> um, you know. i got three and a half years man i'm catching up i'm trying to catch up i hear that i hear that but yeah the reserve thing wasn't for me, man. <laughs> was not for me but active duty was good active duty was good but um yeah so we definitely got some interesting stuff going on in the world of sports man the nba is kind of what are we getting into the second week of the nba here right third, third week Third week. week. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Third week. Not bad. Not bad. So yep. the NBA is doing this the thing. most has been played like six games so far. That's six, right. That's right. My team. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 hard though, man, to uh it's, it's hard for I think it's hard to really get into the NBA right now with, with the way things are. And again, you know, we're right in the middle of college football, we're in the middle of the NFL, so it's hard to really devote that attention to the NBA unless, like, you know, basketball is your number one thing. But yeah, um, we I definitely mean, we're gonna show us some love today, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I agree. Um, basketball's always been like that for me. Um, in that sense of that, you got 82 games, right? Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. things don't really pick up until you know after um the Christmas. Honestly, if you want to mm -hmm. look at we look at it like that, you got the Thanksgiving game, you got the then you got the Christmas game. Then once Christmas kind of rolls around, mm -hmm. at that point. The NBA can pick up a little bit more because now everybody's gunning for, uh, you know, higher seeds and stuff like that. Then the all the mm -hmm. All Star break comes in like a month after that, and right. then that's when it really gets hot and heavy. But after that, you know, high school football is over, uh, college football is wrapping up, um, Super Bowl is in February, and then at that point, that's when the NBA gets its, its true spotlight. So yeah, um, no doubt. No similar doubt. to baseball, man. Baseball, what do you got? Like 160 games right. a year. Yeah, but it's like over, that. so we don't even have to talk about that anymore. <laughs> yeah, man. Go Dodgers, by the way, man. Go L.A. Dodgers. They won the uh, eighth championship World Series. Let me say it like that. World Series. Uh, you know what? Nah, respect due to. Okay, I'm like, what you really ask for? Is that like I said, the Lakers? Because won that. I'm, I'm not a, nah, I'm not a baseball guy, but I wanted the Yankees to win, though. So mm. respect due to the Dodgers, though. Respect oh, no, I was pulling for the Dodgers. I've been pulling for the Dodgers right. for years. Okay, all right. So. But, um. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get started in a minute here. But before we do, you all know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't can't wait can't. 
this one this one is tough for me right so first topic um we're now starting to hear some lake uh lakers some rumors that Giannis Antetokounmpo the Greek freak uh one of the best players no the second best player in Milwaukee Bucks history I don't care if he's an all-time leading scorer you're not going to convince me he's better than Lou Alcindor and then Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because he's not but anyway the second best player in Bucks history um there are rumors that if things don't go well he could possibly request a trade that part of that is are uh related to comments that he made um part of that part of those are uh some comments made from anonymous um executives in the eastern conference well in the nba period and let me so let me tell you why this is kind of a thing for me why this is is frustrating for me right um he's gonna get the same energy like lebron did with coaches getting fired okay so yeah let's talk about that edward so boom um Good, good point, Edward. So here's the deal, right? I've been a fan of Giannis. I've, I've been a fan of Giannis, Giannis, Giannis for of Giannis. a long time. Fan of Giannis. I like that. Yeah, you're good. good. That's good. Keep it going. Fan <laughs> of Giannis. Well, I've, I've, I've been a fan of Giannis for a long time. And part of it is for a couple of reasons, right? Um, one, no one thought that Giannis would become the player that he's become. So to me, I love the fact that he came over here super humble. I mean, I guess he had no nothing else to be no, but humble, yeah. right? Because he wasn't okay. good at the time. But, you know, super humble, super grateful. All he cared about was taking advantage of his opportunity and getting his family here. Right. So I actually read the the most recent biography of Giannis by uh, man. I can't remember her name, but really good journalist. And coincidentally, she just released uh, about a week ago an mm-hmm. audio book, an outstanding biography of Hacking your dream. Hacking uh, your dream. I'm, I'm almost through that in like two days. But anyway, not the point. So so the point is, um, so you know, Look, man, that's that's my guy, man, you know. But anyway, um, so Giannis came over here. All he did was work his butt off. We remember the dude was a toothpick when he got here. Now you look at him, you know, he looked like he worked with the Transformer, and the Transformer got him right, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) But um, Giannis put the work in on his body. He put the work in as much as he could on his game. I think his game is limited because he started playing ball so late. He's kind of awkward, but his even his game has improved a great deal from the time he got here. It's never going to get beyond a certain point because he just, you know, some people just don't have certain skill sets, but he has made himself into what? All NBA defense, defensive player of the year, two-time Absolutely. MVP, NBA champion, NBA finals MVP. He is quite literally the American dream, right? You mm-hmm. come from a place else, you put the hard work in, and you make yourself into something incredible. And now I think um, he's made over $300 million in his NBA career. So he's done it all. Now, all that made me a fan of his, the work, the humility, the right attitude. But that's changing for me now. I'm, I'm much less a fan because it seems like he's been corrupted by the NBA, right? By the, the American player mindset, by the entitledness, by the quote unquote player empowerment, which I prefer to call player empowerment. Um, he's been corrupted by all of that. And you can see he's not the same dude anymore. And this is to Edward Jackson's point, right? So he has gotten at least two coaches fired. And I get on LeBron about that, getting coaches fired. So I have to do it with Giannis too. I haven't done it on a show with you, Transformer, but I think I did do it on this solo show a while back. So I got to get on Giannis about it. I don't respect when players get coaches fired, right? I don't, I I think that's freaking terrible. Um, We know that he has some, some level of roster control, right? We know that uh, he told him basically, yo, I'm out if you don't trade and bring me some help. Now, one thing I can say, LeBron never did that. LeBron has always finished his contracts. Always finished his contract. He he has on a lower level, you know, he has always used that kind of hanging threat of him leaving to, you know, uh, force the hand of the front office. So there's a lot of greats. Kobe did it. So anyway, um, Chuck Brewer was good. Was good. I haven't I haven't seen you here before, man. Hit that like and subscribe in the, in, in the on the show, man. Appreciate you. Um, yes, Bruce. The inmates are running the asylum. But anyway, so Giannis um, forced the Dame Lillard trade. Uh, he got Adrian Adrian Griffin. Is that Adrian Griffin, the last coach, right? Adrian Griffin got, was the last one. Right. He got him fired when the team was number one in the league at the time, right? Record wise, mm-hmm. I know they're number one in the East. They may have been number one in the league. He got that coach fired. Um, it was it was reported that, you know, he was basically totally disrespectful, just not listening to the coach, doing whatever he wanted. I don't respect any of that. I don't care who it is. Right. And again, I get on LeBron about it. And it's only fair that I get on Giannis about it. I can't stand it. It's this new level of player entitlement and all this. Yes, Giannis, you're the guy. You're a star. 
You brought a championship to Milwaukee. Kudos for all that, right? But it's it's not good. So I'm I'm hating all this. So now the rumor is that um, if the team doesn't have success, that he would be possibly willing to ask for a trade. And he's even got a short list of destinations among them: Brooklyn Nets, uh, Miami Heat, and uh, there's some others. But um, before I Boone Hoser, that's what it was. Mike Boone Hoser. Yes, he got him fought. And Boone that's Hoser. crazy. After they won a chip. Yeah. After after he won a chip. I was like, yeah, Agent was. Griffin, wait, that don't sound quite right. But yeah, it was Agent. Uh, that was him was, too. Mike Yo, I, I appreciate I appreciate that, Edward. But you know, you're right, man. And I appreciate you reminding me of that because I do get on LeBron about it. Y'all know, but I got to do the same thing for Giannis. I have to, you know. So um, Transformer, I want your thoughts on this and then we'll uh, come back around to why I'm also annoyed uh, with the coaching situation and this this whole thing. But uh, what do you I think, mean, man? To me, man, I, I'm kind of used to it, bro. Uh, I'll be mm -hmm. honest with you. Um, it's been uh, a, a player empowerment move uh, for quite some time. I've seen it with my favorite player of all time, and that's Kobe Bean Bryant. Um, oh, yeah. Yet, uh, I think at the time, he was forcing his hand to go to Chicago uh, mm -hmm. to end up becoming a bull. And uh, he was like, hey, go give me some help. Because at mm -hmm. this point, it's been four or five years or four years since the removal of Shaq in the trade to Miami. And Kobe was literally being handed breadcrumbs through the draft, yes. through free agency, and was literally dropping 36 every night and not getting mm -hmm. anywhere. Uh, eighth mm -hmm. seed running into the Phoenix Suns back to back years just to mm -hmm. get tossed out every single round. So that level of great player, you're like, OK, look, I'm trying to get back to the top. I'm trying to get back to the promised land. What can I do from my perspective to force you guys' hand, right? And so Kobe threatened, hey, sign somebody or trade me, right? So I, mm -hmm. I've seen it before. So mm -hmm. if if Giannis were to, say, for example, finish out his contract like LeBron mm -hmm. and then leave, we've seen mm -hmm. it the LeBron way. If he was to say, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't sign anybody else or you don't fire this coach, or, I don't, I don't think. At this point, you could do much else with the roster. He got you, Dame Lillard. I mean, right, right. Like, what more do you which, want, which unfortunately right? is not a fit. But anyway, it's not. Ahead. It's not working out, and yeah. I think that's just because they don't know how to run the pick and roll. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, but that's that's, that's about that's about Giannis' deficiencies as a player, unfortunately. Precisely. So I mean, mm -hmm. we went and got you a a, a, a superstar or, or all star elite, whatever you want to call Damian Lillard, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know we're still you know waiting on. Um, uh, Middleton to get back, him get back healthy. So right now we're on full. Then we went and got to a different coach. I mean, yes. granted, he's not right. the best coach, right? No, I mean, no, he's not. <laughs> you know, but we went no. and got to a different coach. Guess so what, though? You'd have, a coach, you'd have a coach that was winning if you hadn't got that guy fired. So you don't get to complain about this one now. Am I right? No. Nope. Yeah, absolutely right. I got okay, I got nothing, I got nothing to argue about with that. But but like I said, in, in, right, in, right. in, in Giannis's case, like, okay. We changed the coach. Check. Mm -hmm. We gave you talent. Check. We gave you a check. Check. I mean, <laughs> what more do you want from us, right? So I, I, at this point, I look at it as Giannis. Is kind of, I mean, not to say, I mean, it's rumblings, right? We're all rumbling. This is all rumbling. I don't think Giannis has physically said anything about this as of yet, right? Mm -hmm. But it would seem kind of unfair to Milwaukee if Giannis was to pull something like that. Right, I'm like, damn, like we did everything right, we, for you. We, we I can see if we wasn't doing you. anything if, right. like, for, for LeBron's situation in Cleveland, they wasn't really doing anything, right? He, he was like, Okay, you guys aren't getting any it, like we're not getting a better roster. Um, mm -hmm. you change the code, but like I need help, like give me help, right? Mm -hmm. Kobe, give me help, like give mm -hmm. me help, you know, make the change. Milwaukee went and got you a player, changed the coach, gave you 300 million. Damn. <laughs> what, what, what more do you want from that? So that's a fact. I just think it'll be unfair. It'll, it'll just be unfair. But I, I've seen it before. It'll just be unfair for him if mm -hmm. he was to try to force his way out of there like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Edward Jackson, I like your comment. My thing is, why do we why do we not do it with certain players that's likable? You hear a lot about LeBron, Aaron Rodgers, but if you're likable, you won't hear so much about. It. I think that's just human nature, man. Honestly, I think it's just human nature, right? Because if I'm a dick. Or I'm perceived as a dick, like my bad behavior is going to be magnified, right? But if I'm likable, I can get away with a lot more. And, and I think that's just human nature. I could be wrong, but that's just kind of how it goes. And I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's just kind of human nature. Um, I like, like that. Nation, yeah. yeah, I like that. 
Drew like was the best that's... fit, man. Well, yes, Drew was the best fit, and you can see that Drew is a winner, right? Because mm -hmm. one in Milwaukee, he goes to Boston, and I'm not saying he's the number one reason, but he was a big a key, key cog to that winning. Yes, no, absolutely. I told you when the season started, I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, yo, y'all got Drew. That mm -hmm. that you move did. in itself pissed me off. I'm yeah, because like, these folks are going with it, man. Them, them right. folks are legit right. good now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Go, proceed. No, so I was going to say I disagree that it's about Dame's skill set not fitting the team. So it, it's both, right? Because it's hard to even play the pick and roll with Giannis because he's limited, right? He can only pick and then literally roll. Like he can't pick and pop. He can't do much else. He has to go straight downhill to the basket and maybe catch an ollie or just catch it and uh, finish, right? Because he doesn't have the mid-range jump shot that's reliable to play that way in the PNR. There's not a lot he can do. And then the other problem is, I know you thought you were helping Giannis by getting him a, a reliable number two scorer because Middleton was that, but he can't stay healthy. But the problem with Dame is he doesn't defend or do anything else. Yeah, he shoots yeah. all these long threes, but what else does he do, right? And so – Get cooked on the offensive side. That's right. That's right. Okay. And then the other problem is even though he's a point guard, he can't really get to run point in Milwaukee because Giannis is another guy who needs the ball a lot to have success. You see? So we keep running into problems with these. But, but hey, let me not talk because – this generation is the most skilled we've ever seen in the NBA, right? But most of these guys don't know how to play basketball. Like, that's not my opinion. We keep seeing it. These guys don't know how to play basketball. So it is what it is, man. But that's that's the real issue. I don't think it's Dame's skill set doesn't fit the team. I think, it's, yeah. um, I think it's unfortunately Giannis was brought up in that organization playing a certain way. Giannis is like LeBron liked the way he plays in terms of needing the basketball in order to be effective, obviously, like he's that. And a big driver. Defender, oh, he does but, drive. Yeah. Right, right. But but even skill, even skill, even still, LeBron has a better offensive toolkit than Giannis. And if somebody can say that about you, that's a bad thing. But yeah. and, and LeBron eventually learned how to shoot. Like he he got much better yeah. shooting the yes. shooting, yes, shooting yes. The basketball. Um, not even from three, like even from mid range, uh, twenty five feet. Now you look at him play now, he he pulling up post moves. Mm -hmm. uh, pull up fadeaway jumpers and they're cashing. So, you know, he's a bit like he developed them. Um, and I don't think like it's tough. Like for, for Giannis's build, like even mm -hmm. by the way he, his, his body structured, mm -hmm. it just looks difficult for him to like, yes, get that amount of talent um, yeah. from being a shooter. So that's you why know what? he just that's funny because was it last week when you were talking about muscle bound guys really having difficulty shooting? I remember you said that. Mm hmm. But, but again, I'm it's the structure of their body. So like length and I get it. times muscle mass, like if you're mm -hmm. brought up a certain way or like you're so you like the way you carry your shoulders, he's that big, broad shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's a little difficult from like you pulling up like from Steph range, like mm -hmm. Steph no, I get that. has a I get fluid that. type shot. Right. Mm -hmm. But Giannis, his arms are so long. Look how he cradles the ball when he shoots His like his elbows are out. Like if he pulls it down here, he can literally. That can like alter like the way he's standing and his uh his posture is what I want to say, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it, it's a science to it. I mean, I don't, I'm not finna get, get, get into it, but I get um, it. the only reason I push back against that is because like David Robinson had pretty much the identical build to a to a Giannis, and he was yeah. a very good mid range shooter, um like almost all the way out to three. Charles Oakley was a big bulky guy, muscular, was able to shoot the mid range. Anthony, Mason but I think they good. grew up like, shooting though. I think it's it's different when you can grow up shooting, right? Like for AD, for example, right? AD can shoot because he grew up shooting. You know what I mean? Guys yeah, like he was LeBron, a guard, remember? He Giannis, grew up as a guard. Precisely, right? Mm -hmm. So Giannis and LeBron, they didn't grow up shooting the basketball. They were just mm -hmm, prided off mm -hmm. their, their dunking talent, mm -hmm. athleticism, and stuff like that. So if you try to learn so late, your body's already developed in a certain way. Like Good unlike Lon like, like, like Lonzo, like Lonzo Ball. His shot was here, but he was always yeah. a shooter. Right. He always right. shot the ball. So it wasn't much for him to relearn his mechanics. But when you're built a certain way and you never mm -hmm. was a shooter to begin with, it's, it's a little it bit more tougher. difficult. Yeah, right. it's, it's a lot tough, tougher to do that. Touche, yeah. touche. Now nah, you're right. Um, But yeah, so, uh, so I'm just, I'm so frustrated with this whole thing because again, I'm like, you can't, if, well, I guess you can, and the NBA is going to allow it. And, but my thing is, at this point, like if 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 I'm Milwaukee, if I should decide to trade him, it's not going to be to one of your quote unquote preferred destinations. 
<laughs> no, no, not at I this point. Nah. For my organization, right? That's my yeah. job as a front office. It's not my job to appease you, right? Yes, mm -hmm. so we appreciate you brought us a ring, but you didn't do it alone, and we paid you to do that. You you did what you were compensated to do, Correct. right? Correct. So, so let's 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 keep that hundred there. So, but yeah, I'm I'm super frustrated with the fact that you got the last coach fired, and now you have the nerve to not be happy with the fact that Doc Rivers isn't getting it done. Well, the grass always looks greener, doesn't it, Giannis? But now you <laughs> find out it's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, folks don't uh, understand how hard it is, man, until like you try to do it yourself, man. It's not easy trying mm -hmm. to play GM and being a player at the same time. Thank you. Right, right, not, right, right. It's not easy. You know, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. But um, you got anything else before we open up these phone lines? I'm sure we uh we have some people who might want to have something to say about this. Oh man, my bad. Uh, but here's my pitch. Giannis, man, if you want to get traded, come to LA. I'm playing. I'm just messing with you. No, we got AD, brother. <laughs> I was about to say, you know, I can't see that, man. <laughs> Let me listen. If they if they freaking announce blockbuster trade, Giannis uh, to the Lakers. First of all, I wouldn't even believe me. You won't see me show up on the show for like two weeks. I'll be like, man, y'all run that. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that's not it. LeBron, AD, and Giannis. Okay, kidding. nah, nah. You don't think LeBron would love that? I mean, of course, the bra. I mean, Laker That's Nation. Right? You down. know, honestly, <laughs> I probably wouldn't love it as much because we'll have to trade hell and hot I, water. I, I, no, I, I get what you're saying. I'm we'll just, have to trade just, hell and hot water. Nah, At that nah, point, just, we'll be just, roster depleted. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. But nah. no. All right. Um, you got he anything just, else? He man? wouldn't fit with LeBron either. No, because if, he, if, he if we was to trade for anybody that has superstar status right now, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. would be Steph Curry. That would be the only reasonable trade that. He will make because no, Steph that. and Braun fit. They fit well together. And like, you know, Giannis is just, he's just in the way. He'll just be in the way. So I would be disgusted with both of them if that was ever to happen. I know that's not the topic, but real quick, I would be disgusted <laughs> with LeBron because like, come on, man, you, you have to play with every top player in the league. And two, I would be disgusted with Steph that you would leave your team, which you were an integral building block of, to go play with this guy, knowing what he was about and knowing that's your chief rival in your era and your time in the nba stop it that would disgust me but yeah, anyway don't be hating don't be hating is that really hating you know you know who you know who not gonna be pissed off who us no 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 i get that i get that no no and you like, know what what I, mean? I, I mean what what I, I, somehow about. Seth got traded to the celtics no see look at that no <laughs> no 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 but but at the same time in all seriousness being being who i am like i don't need that man i, I like competition i do yeah so you know, ask me. We need more. Yeah, yeah. Edward Jackson. Offense. He did throw it out there. That as a matter of fact, it was more than once. Yeah, yeah. He he's played. He's, he's during the Olympics, times. after the Olympics, prior yeah. to the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. He's talked about it a few times. Really, more Durant content. Come on, Steve. Come on, man. Hey, but Phoenix Suns are looking good, Steve. Four and one. They look good. And they still Kevin won't anything. But we're, we're one and one against them right now. We beat them the first game, and we played them again the two games later. And they uh oh, they wow. won, a little, won a little nail biter nail biter against us. Again, okay, where's mm. he would have played with two Touché. of the top? But... Great point. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. He's right. Because Durant. Whoa, 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 wait, Durant wait, 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 no, but how many of the top players of his generation would LeBron have played with? Right. But no, it's the how. It's the how. Right. Like okay. So LeBron was still the alpha male at all times on every team. We got on Steph because he let another alpha come in his house mm -hmm. and steal all the reins. Okay. You know, Kevin Durant got the MVPs, right? Mm -hmm. he got back-to-back mm -hmm. -back MVPs. We Finals. remember Kevin Durant yeah. shooting over LeBron James. We do. We didn't mention it. Nobody mentions anything about Steph Curry when it comes you know, to them Golden State series versus uh, LeBron. So real, real quick, and you're 100% right, but real quick, I'll say that's wild because Steph averages like 28 points per game for his career in the NBA Finals. But I get you, and he was dropping buckets, but it, the, the KD outshined him. Ooh, you know, KD outshined ooh. him every single time. Okay, real quick interruption. Tyler, thanks for that heads up. There you go. Wow, that's big. That's big. Wow. And you know what? Oh, you, know what's funny, Tyler? you know what's funny, Tyler? I said last year, you can go back and check this. Um, check my shows with uh Ryan Langford on college football. I said shout that coming Ryan. into shout out Ryan. Um, I said coming into this season. That if Colorado just made some some of the improvements on the defensive and offensive lines, 
they could compete for the Big 12. I said that. Yeah. And so <laughs> it looks like oh, it's Trust coming. and believe, guys. We got a Colorado segment coming up because we ain't going to let, you know, Colorado just nah. steam Normally, on. They're six and two. Them boys is balling out there. Yeah, okay? yeah, they're balling. So normally the reason why I don't talk college football on this show, guys, is because I actually do a college football show. Uh, what is it? Every every week. Normally Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And um, uh, we have a guy that Transformer and I both know, Ryan Langford. And you can check on this channel. But um, he he's a four-year uh, four wide receiver for the Fighting Illini. And then uh, he was with the Colts for a year. And then he played in Canada for six years. So um, he's, he's our college football analyst. And I talk with him every week about college football and what's going on there. So you can check that out if you're looking for college football content. However, we know that Colorado is becoming a bigger and bigger story. So as that happens, we'll, we will have some content on that. So, uh, yeah, I got you. Um, <laughs> nah, Steve, it's not it's not <laughs> anti-Durant slander. But if we're real, if we are real, and there is context to everything, but at the end of the day, hasn't won pre-Steph, hasn't won post-Steph, just saying, just saying. Steph won pre him, Steph won post him. He now, did. was he a big component in how the Warriors dynasty was able to survive because it probably would have ended if he never went there? Yes. Oh, absolutely. But, I think yeah. LeBron's legacy changes if Durant doesn't go there. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about a rematch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But guess what, though? You know why I'm not mad at that? LeBron made it that way. Like I said, LeBron... LeBron uh, created MySpace and KD took it to Facebook. LeBron made it that way because if LeBron doesn't make the move that he made, <laughs> if he doesn't make that move, go, taking his talents to South Beach, KD would not have felt it was cool to go join up with the Warriors. That's it. Yo, what did you just say? Just saying, man. LeBron created MySpace. KD created Facebook. Yo, that's level, man. man. What an analogy, bro. Took it but to I'm not mad at it. He did like he took it to the mad extreme. Like MySpace, yeah. if y'all guys know, I mean, some of you guys may be younger, but I think most of us are in, at least in our thirties, right? Mm -hmm. We remember MySpace, right? MySpace was the stuff for like two to it three was. years. It but was when Facebook hit. Oh, it man. took it off the moon. And so, if yeah, you think MySpace about LeBron's did. move to Miami, you're like, oh man, that's big. But KD going to go and say, like, God dang, bro, that's through the roof. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's a great analogy bro i like yeah. that i like Before. that that's a bar yeah, yeah i like that steve yeah yeah but um i'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and open up these phone lines we ready yeah yeah let's roll all baby. right so i'm gonna put it in the chat 904-219 uh oh i typed 6284 my apologies it's 82 what 8264 8264, my bad. 904-219-8264. And it's also scrolling on the bottom of your screen. Damn, I can't type for anything today. 904-219-8264. It's scrolling on the bottom of the screen, y'all. It's literally scrolling scrolling on the bottom of the screen and people start asking the chat what the number is. So y'all go ahead, man. Give us a call. We would love to hear your thoughts on Giannis and his change of attitude. Um, Are you with it? Are you not with it? Uh, yeah. Do you think that at this point he has the right to, even if he should get upset, uh, demand a trade out of there when he kind of facilitated the <laughs> he's the facilitator for the state that Milwaukee currently is in? Um, mm. Yeah, a Any of the things we discussed, man, go ahead. Give us a shout. Let's get it. No, absolutely. Uh, Tyler, I see you, you. You got your trade market thing going on. Yeah. Hey, Rui, Rui, Gabe, Vincent, Jason, Jackson Hayes. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. D'Lo can go. D'Lo can – he could have mm -hmm. went last year, for all I care. I do like how Jason Jackson Hayes is picking it up. I think he's really been showcasing a lot of growth in his in his game. Rui would hurt me to my soul to lose Rui because Rui is one hell of a player. You don't hear him complain. I mean, granted, English is a second language, but, you know, you don't hear him complain. And, you know, the kid goes out there and balls – Gabe mm -hmm. Vincent spent a lot of last year on IR. I mean, not IR. I'm thinking of NFL um, <laughs> on the sideline, um, you know, uh, due to injury a lot. Now he has yet to pick it up to what he was doing in Miami. So I, I'm not mad at that one. Uh, yeah. You know, my philosophy, F them picks. We did great on this pick, bro. <laughs> F them picks, bro. <laughs> Go with chips. I mean, that's been the Laker way, right? We we never really cared about picks. Right, so uh, me mm -hmm. trading them, I'm 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 a Laker mentality guy. Trade them right. if you're gonna get something good. Yep, let's go ahead and take I'll this take call. Oh, go ahead. 
Laker Nation, what's good, man? How you doing? Uh, haven't called, spoke to you guys in a while. Just yeah, man, it's call. good to hear from you, bro. What's good, brother? Yeah. What's good, y'all? Lakers four and two, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What you got? Um. Well, when I was calling you, you were speaking on Jackson Hayes. Um, throughout this week, don't get too attached to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, once the news surfaced on the mainstream media, which will start on Monday, uh, Jackson Hayes going to be out of there. You know, I didn't even see that. I didn't know about it until you – I'm ashamed to say I didn't know about it until you brought it up. Don't really follow the Lakers too much if you uh, – Yeah, I'm trying to right. right. <laughs> But no, seriously, no, I didn't – No, I didn't – Yeah, go ahead. To be sorry. honest, I didn't know anything about it either. Like, I was just randomly up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and um, mm-hmm. I saw Ticket TV plastering all over my screen. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay. what the hell is he talking about at 4 o'clock in the morning? He was talking about oh, that Jack – Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. And the video surface yeah, of what happened video. in the house, and it was very damaging. So yeah, yeah, that's tough. That's, when that's gonna hurt us because he's balling out this year. But, yeah, yeah, it is crazy because I mean, if if we're real, man, twenty twenty four, people would be less upset at you selling drugs than you hitting a woman. Like it's, bro, it's real that's facts. It, that man, is facts. yeah, you could destroy a whole community, but if you put your hands on a woman, it's it's over. So now nah, I, I I get it. Not of course that I'm advocating woman beating ever. It's inexcusable and should never happen. But yeah, it's it's a big big thing. And you're right. Um, you know he's probably going to get a massive suspension from the league, uh, whatever their equivalent to the commissioner's exempt list is. And then you'll have to find out if his career is even going to continue. So man, yeah. who knows? Now I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna move off that because um you know that's not the topic today. But mm-hmm. um remember. The league didn't do anything on you know, when and when the uh, when it came out about him getting you know tased and everything by the when fighting the cops. Mm-hmm. The league backtracked, so they're going to have to make an example because of what they did to um what's the name from um uh, that's in Brooklyn now. Oh yeah 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 um is yeah, it Jared Allen? No, not Jared Allen. It's, no, it's Miles um Brit Miles Bridges. Yeah, oh, Miles. Oh, what that's they did Miles Bridges. Yeah. So. Yeah, they stopped it two miles for it and cost mm-hmm. them a lot of money. So, you know, I think he missed like the whole season, didn't he? Down there? Yeah. yeah. I think Miles missed like the whole season. And, uh, Jackson Hayes is on the minimum. And oh, he cut. So. You know what, though? Real talk, man. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck here. You are yeah. in the NBA, right? What are there? 4,500 players? Less than 5,000 people have played in the NBA in its history. Yeah. So at at whatever point, what do you got? 450 active players in the NBA, roughly. 450 out of 8 billion people on this planet. And a whole lot of them want to play in the NBA. If you do something stupid like that, hey, man, you get what you get. I I don't have a lot of But I don't think, at this point, I don't think he was in the league. I think that was his rookie season. Mm. Yeah, because this is 2021. 2021, yeah. Yeah. So this is three years ago. He's only been in the league four years. Okay, yeah, but I, I, I get yeah. that. But even if you're in college, if you're in college you're and you got a chance to go to the league, you're identified, man. You you got to run, hide, and duck all these kind of and, – and don't get me wrong. We all make mistakes, but you have to do everything you can do to duck these type of situations that could ruin That's your true. life going forward, man. And because uh, nothing is hidden anymore in the internet age, you know. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and move off that. Uh, what, what else did you have, um, Lake Nation? Last thing about that is what's going to hurt him really is because the way he's playing this year, he was going to get a bag. Mm, yeah. yeah. He was going to get a bag. Um, but going back to Giannis, is, mm-hmm. yeah, we got to um, – what he's doing, in my opinion, is worse than what LeBron did. Talk to me. They, ma- they made moves to improve him. Mm-hmm. They fired – they fired the coach that had you in in the in the first place. That's right. So to me, it's like he's running the temper tantrum. Yeah, sounds and, about right. Um, he what he's doing is way worse than what LeBron ever did. Because mm-hmm. at least LeBron, like like you guys said, he stuck it out. You know, he might not he might have said, "But a trade deadline, give me a couple more pieces." Then and there, we just crucified him because it's like, damn, how many more people do you need? Right. But. He at least with what he had produced and got to at least to the final. Right, right. 
You know, Giannis haven't, hasn't been to the finals yet since 2021. Mm-hmm. He hasn't done anything. You got, I can't remember who bounced him out the last two years because y'all don't follow Milwaukee like that. Um, I think Miami beat him one year. And the Celtics did. Celtics, Celtics. beat him in 2022. Sure. And it wasn't Miami. The Miami was. Yeah, it was injury. Miami. They came out to play in. Yeah, so. They came out to play in. Yeah, Boston in 22 and uh, Miami in 23. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's about right. So it's like you. I don't. I had a debate with somebody earlier this morning on our Instagram over this player empowerment stuff. It's like Terrible. I get it. I get I don't. it. You. I know you don't, Bruce. We. You, <laughs> you know you old school. Yes. Yes. You know, but the way I I understand like there all this money going on in 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 there right now and you know what they. You know, off the court endorsement. Mm-hmm. You know, they they are more they're more of a brand by themselves yes. now than they were ever. Great point. So they're trying to protect their brand, but at the end of the day, the NBA is your employer. Mm-hmm. Um, the organization is the is the one that's signing your check. Mm-hmm. Um, you sign that contract, to accept that money. You need to do your part. That's of right. your contract. That's right. You just 82 game schedule, play, you know, take care of your body, eat right, be available. Um, you know, there's always going to, is the NBA perfect? No. Right. Right. Nothing's ever, ever perfect. But you take it upon your money to take them, you take it upon yourself to sign that contract and take that money. You know, they're paying you, they're, you know, they're, Trusting you to be their franchise player, you need to produce for them. Yeah. So like, can it, I don't I don't like that if things have you don't go your way, you're gonna be like, okay, I'm going to mm-hmm. this location right now. I'm mm-hmm. going over here, you know, screw y'all, y'all figure it out. No. All right. So can I say um, something that might surprise you all? Hello. There's nothing you can say ever that could surprise me, Bruce. No, this this <laughs> coming from me, I think this might surprise you, right? So if you've been around this show or, or you know me, you know that I rep for I, I generally rep for the mass media and I rep for journalists, right? Because obviously you know, I went to J school, I'm a J school graduate, I have worked in the media, blah, 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 right? So I generally try to rep for them. However, in this case, while I'm adver- while I'm very much against quote unquote player empowerment, and I'll explain why in a minute. I have to say that the media owns 50% of the blame for this. A- am I right, Transformer? And the reason yeah. I say that, as members of the media and even us as social media on this level, independent media, we put so much pressure on these athletes to win that they don't feel that if they get it done, they'll ever get their due. For instance, right, Dominique Wilkins is a, what, a 75 greatest? I don't think he originally made 50 greatest. He should have. But he's a 75 greatest, one of the all-time great players we talk about. Tracy McGrady, same thing. But... What up, baby? What up, baby? Good to see you, Brandon. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. But we don't talk about these guys as great as they were the way we should. Why? Because they never got a ring. They never got a championship. So in fairness to these players, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but in fairness to these players, we're not, they are, we're not giving them their due and they're feeling that pressure to win because they're feeling that pressure to win because um, they know that it adversely affects their legacy if they don't get a championship. So that, that's why I was saying that, because you all know that I, I rep for the, the media a lot. And so I have to but be Bruce, fair here. That's all. But, Bruce, guess what? What's up, man? You already have the ring. You won it three years ago. Oh, that's true. That's true. But I, I was saying in general, but yes, in that case, you're right. You're right. But I was saying in general, though. I, I know you get my point. And real quick, the, yeah, other, the other thing is the reason why I'm against the player empowerment, quote unquote. And I've said this before. I don't believe in giving uh, players um, uh, personnel say. Because when it goes wrong, they don't have to face the repercussions. Coaches get fired and freaking uh, uh, front office people get fired. But the player can just be there a la LeBron. I don't know what you I don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you know they're in the back pulling the strings like Geppetto. That's why I don't believe in giving players personnel say. And I never will. Because they're not held accountable when it doesn't work out. Well, I can understand like asking a star's opinion. Mm-hmm. Even when I coach. I do that. I yeah. I look like, okay, so you know, but it's not on the NBA level. It's like okay, we need to we need to make these adjustments. Um, what do you see out there on the court? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, no, coach, I get that. we 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 can do this. But that's, right. 
I can get like the front office doing that with their star. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you feel if we get Dame? Like, how do you think that would you know, work? How do you think that would fit? This move, right? You know, how do you think it'll fit you mm-hmm. playing with him or things of that nature? But right. saying who do you, who you think we should trade for? I don't. Mm-hmm. Think you can never give a player that. that yeah, much, you can't. That much problem. You can't, and that that's my thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. And vice versa. Like, I'm gonna use James Harden. Like, mm-hmm. I I hated what James Harden did, how he got out of Houston. Oh, got fat and got. Oh, the fat suit. Like, like, like he just re- he refused to participate. Like he refused to go to practice. He refused to be. So guess yeah. what though? Suspend like, where him. that came from? I don't know. Where that, that, came from. that way you don't have to pay him. Yeah. Let, let's let's let's, let's see let's see how many racks he can throw at the at the pole if you're not paying him. Eventually he's going to lose because management always has more money than the player, no matter how much money the player has. Well, you just have to pay him. Exactly, but I'm, I'm not going to blame. I'm not going to blame this player empowerment era on LeBron. Mm-hmm. I know that's probably shocking y'all because I'm so anti-LeBron. <laughs> I'm going to blame part of it on. I'm going to a lot of it on the money. Yeah, that's a big piece. That's right. The the new age culture, mm-hmm. social media, mm-hmm. and um, and the the mainstream media. Uh, yeah, yeah, all those, too. all those play roles, those, man. But LeBron those, also plays a big role. So <laughs> I know you were going to say that, but <laughs> no, I'm he not, does. I'm but I, I think, it, but LeBron down. did it the more of the right way. I'm not going to say the right way because they everybody has a different way. But yeah. like at least LeBron was like, hey, he was trying to like, yo, finish your deal. You yes. signed it, right? Yes, I signed, signed the right on the deal contract. That's gonna allow you saying, to get out of it when you're ready. Exactly. Yeah, so LeBron yeah, yeah. started the three year deals and the two year deals. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. That's right. At that point, like at least I'm fulfilling my obligations That's right. to the That's team. Right. After you'll that, never hear me say he had, you'll never hear me say he I'm didn't gone. do that. Like whatever right. y'all did, like, uh, whatever we did in the mm-hmm. midst of while I was here, when mm-hmm. that contract ends and I'm not re up, mm-hmm. I'm gone. Right. That's so, it. That's it. you know, I think that's yep. the, in I fairness, think. that's the difference. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Laker Nation, man, we got to let you go, bro. I had somebody else trying to call in, man. I appreciate it, though. All right. All right. Stick around, brother. For sure. Yeah. Uh, caller from Virginia. I think that was area code 804. Caller from Virginia. Give us a call back. I saw you trying to get through. We had Laker Nation on the line with another great call. Uh, yes. 804. Go ahead. Give us a call back, man. But, yeah, transform. That, that was a good call from Laker Nation. No, man. no. I mean, you know, Laker Nation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Real great truth. Things oh, okay. Yeah. Lakers. You know, what I mean? all right, don't push it, man. <laughs> Real <laughs> truth, what's going on, man? What's going on? Let's see who this is. Caller from Virginia, welcome to the format podcast. Who's this? Yeah, what's up? Uh, thank you for having me. Hello, who's this? What's going on? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you sounded a little muffled. Try it again. My fault. Am I better? Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, better? I can hear you. Let's see what we got. Yeah, what's your okay. name, man? Perfect. Uh, my name, my name's on uh, Ant. Ant? A N T. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. What's up, man? What you got? Yeah, more so. Um, I think I think. Um, forgive me. Uh, I think the title more so was speaking about Joel Embiid and possibly even Giannis, but I'm more so going to delve in uh, Joel Embiid. Um, you know, the comments he made about you know the certain things that he had to sacrifice for Philly, his team. Um, mm-hmm. you know, the the, the many injuries. You know, it's somewhat true, but I'm just more so just kind of just throttled of more so like I, how he's not going out there and, and, and truly playing. Because I right, hold, hold on, and hold on. Let me let me interrupt you real quick. Um, the third there. topic, the modern NBA era. We're, we're yeah. going to get to that. So hold this call. Make sure you call back for that topic. All right. We're, yeah, because you're, you're you're ahead of us right now. Yes, you're yes. ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, but trust me. Trust we're about me. to dive we're, into exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. We're we're going there. Trust me. Oh, my bad. I thought, I thought uh, that was a, the other caller that he was talking about. So that they see. Nah, nah, nah. We'll, we'll get to that. If you see the lineup on the on the left side of the screen, that's the third topic, the modern NBA. So we're getting there. Don't worry about it. We got you. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Save, save that conversation right. and call back when we don't call, put the phone yeah. lines then. All right. All right. Perfect. All right, brother. Thank you for the call, man. How about he about to take away all our ammunition? He sure was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure we talking about that sure yeah, man. Hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Real truth, yeah. We definitely, we definitely gonna get to that, man. We're definitely getting there. 
Um, is that so, is real truth, Ant? I don't, I don't somebody know. Else? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, it just so that happens that the name real truth first. is talking about um, MB, so I don't know. Um, listen, I uh, see we got, what, 24 in the chat. Appreciate all y'all. Good turnout tonight. Uh, make sure that uh, you click that like and subscribe on the channel. Appreciate it. Ooh, uh-oh, A&M's in trouble. Man. Come on, A&M. I think it's Come on. Early, though. Had a feeling this was a trap game. But remember, I think they were they were down big uh, last week to LSU as well, and they came back and won. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, no pause at all, Steve. But you know, A yeah, and M has shown that, that they can make they've shown they can make the adjustments, and hopefully they'll come back and win this game. So, all right, um, 